Okay, Rose has this onyx table from Italy and it got broken, obviously. It got cracked, so it's cracked all the way along here and there and all in this corner here. If you zoom in, you can see the cracks. She's been crazy gluing it. And so it stopped shale. Her and Chad are going to try to pour, what is that called? I'm sorry, epoxy. Epoxy. Oh, epoxy, epoxy, epoxy on top. Epoxy. So fingers crossed this works. But let's see, the uh, crazy glue and look at her, she's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I think it'll work though. I think it'll work. But it's a beautiful table. Sorry. Chad's trying to repair a little piece. Oh, Chad, do you know where that piece goes? Right here. I think it goes right there. But watch this okay. before you He's stick that in. Trying to repair in. a little piece here that's cracked out. This is my hardwood floor thing. Hey, okay. Chad's there. trying to repair the little wee cracks in here. I think we leave that hard push from this side. What was that noise? Oh. The uh, tape. Okay. Hang on, Chad. It's got to come over yeah, this no, side. There's something there. What's this? It's like a tape. It's tape. Oh, okay. Yeah. How far are you? Uh, oh, you got to go down. Okay. You ready? Okay, you, you get your side so that it's perfect. Because I'm lifting this, the whole side over here. So, like, it's pretty solid. I'm good here. How are you? Is it holding on this? Yeah. Okay, you come and feel because you'll know. Just don't lift, like slide. Okay, so you gotta come to me about a quarter inch. Straight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? And look at that. We don't have to move it. And we can lift it like this. Now how are we gonna get it out to the garage? We're going to pour on this table some epoxy. As you can see, there's some really deep cracks right along here and in here. This table's from Italy and it's sentimental. And it does go lovely in the living room, but if it doesn't turn out, it's no loss. It's just something, a project, you know, you might as well try, see if you can do it. It's got beautiful legs on it. It's heavy. It's not marble, it's onyx. So it broke coming over from Italy too, and a, a marble man put some rods underneath it on the bottom and fixed it once. So it's already had some damage once before. So with the epoxy, once you put it on and buff it out, it just gives a character. It's a beautiful piece though, so we'll see. Okay, hang on. okay we got it moved out to the garage. It was heavy, I'm not gonna lie, hurt my hands, but it's here. You don't need much. Chad's gonna pour epoxy onto this. Can't wait to see this being done. It's gonna be fabulous. Rose is panicking. Okay, wrapping it all in uh, saran wrap like stuff, all the way down to the foot. This is gonna be fun watching this. In a project, there's stuff you miss trying to be a perfectionist. And if I was Chad, I wouldn't want to work with either one of us, so. Right? Well, it's the truth. He needs a medal just for that. Yeah, because I know how we are. You know, both of us have that perfectionist thing going on with us, or we think we're right thing. Okay, so he, being the carpenter, was able to help us, right? Wow. Yeah. So you need he, a He did the math. And you need a carpenter he did the, for baking and you need a baker for other things. Yeah, he did the equation and the math for us on the cake and it worked out perfect. Yeah. So it's amazing. Like again, you need another, exactly. another eye in there. It is a pretty table though, isn't she? I just love her. I know. And she's going to be very personal now with all the little nooks and crannies in her. Now yeah, I don't know much, but I need that. Yeah, I, I think four, you can see I the glue in here, so I think fine. it needs to be super finely yeah. taken I've out. Got, I've got a That's my oh. opinion on this. I might not be okay. right, but I think I, I am. Um, an automotive. Two, oh, you've got the automotive one. There yeah, no, the, I've only got a 400, the highest. Right on here. Oh, look, at, you can see them all. It's almost translucent up here. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
And here's where the original steel rods were. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And right up here. Okay. Yeah. Shall be interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chad's underneath crazy gluing this parts together. If we can get him Where's the that. corner that she glued this right in? Right here. Okay. No. No, it's the other corner, honey. Other corner? Yeah. Okay. It's the other side down there. Oh, yeah. This is the underbelly. Oh, I see it. So was this something you've done before? A new experience for you too? New experience. That's okay. I've only done some before's. Okay, that's okay. You know what? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it's worth a try. Yeah, she's already ripped it off. Right? It's worth trying to rescue and save it. Taping it for what reason, Chad? So that in case it goes through the cracks, the tape will stop it. Because the epoxy doesn't stick to the tape. That's weird to know, right? I would have never known that. Things you learn. <laughs> so Chad's taping the whole thing off, um, all the way around underneath, and then he's gonna put a lip on it for the pour. So I'm dying to see the pour is what I'm dying to see, right? So this is a new experience for all of us here. That's 2,000 sandpaper. Wow, so that's taking off the crazy glue, right? Yeah, buffing it. They're buffing it out. Boy, you could do cars too. <laughs> oh, you're fixing your car? Yeah, the stone chips. Okay. I have some hail ones on mine. <laughs> Lots of scratches in there naturally anyway, so you can see them all over. Mm -hmm. But that's okay, this is an old table. Well, I didn't know sandpaper came up to 6,000. So I just learned something. You know, I have the, the, the fours and the 350s and the twos and stuff at my house, but nothing to this level. But I've never needed it either, I guess, so. Now he's using a little bit of water on a shop cloth. And, yeah. So basically the, the glue is gonna have the same shine as the table. Well, that's good. Wonderful. Come back here and look, Rose. I want you to show you, you something. You know, you can go through this whole thing because... This is what Chad's buffing off is the glue that's on top of the onyx here. But he has got it pretty smooth here. Like, look at that. Mm -hmm. He's got it really smooth. It doesn't have any shards or anything when I put my hand over it. That's good. So, no, it feels good, Chad. Um, he's putting tape around the lip there where it's beveled. See, it's beveled here. He's putting tape into there. I'm dying to see this pour. So much. <laughs> All taped off now. And now he's over there buffing her ball because there's a little fracture in it. There's a few fractures, but we're not telling anybody. Uh oh, now it's on video. I'm just kidding. We didn't knock it over, it fell over. So we're all out here to watch this. Dave's coming out too to watch this. And we're gonna see how this goes. So he's gonna pour the epoxy onto this table and hopefully we can save this beautiful antique table. And the resin hardener. Pouring the resin and the resin hardener we're mixing. Is it equal, equal? Yeah, equal 50, parts. 50. I'm just gonna do the And you don't need a mask. You do not need a mask. Are you sure? Do you wanna read the instructions? No, I don't. I'm just asking, I'm just being Rose. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to pour the entire jug rather than trying to measure it out. We have an audience here. We have Dave over here, Rose over here, myself and Chad. We're all dying to see how this is going to work. Sexy times in the house. While you're, while you're waiting and watching, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't want to miss out what we're doing. Going to 50-50. Well, two hands are better than one. So now Chad's stirring it all together, mixing the two parts in. The witch's brew. Mm hmm Yeah. So some bubbles form there, right there, just stirring, right? Yep. Yeah, the bubbles are inevitable. Okay. But they will naturally come out. Okay. Um, I made some coasters with some cards and uh, 
all of the air bubbles came out, even the ones underneath the curves. Beautiful. It's not gonna melt the onyx, is it? No. no. Not at all. This is gonna be fabulous. That's enough. It's not enough. He brought three. Wow. It's going on very smooth. So the center of it has got a dip in it. So mm -hmm. it's actually going to be a level table when we're done. Because it has a dip naturally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, pretty cool. And does it stay all ripply like that, Jack? No, it No, it, it balances it. it. What's that called? Levels it out. Levels it yeah. itself out. Um, I watched three or four videos yeah. on this. David Jim. This is cool stuff. And look at how the imperfections went away. I think this is going to work. Hey, Chad? Mm -hmm. Like the imperfections just went. And that hole that was over there, like you don't even know the hole was there. And look at this where it was shattered. Yeah. It just looks like part of this marbling. Okay, so I think this is going to be a success. It's beautiful. I see the air bubbles and all the rest of it like everybody else is seeing, but I've, I think it's got the self-leveling enough to, to do it. It looks really good. So Rose is being a foreman as usual. <laughs> hitting some finishing spots here. Little... Okay, I'll look closely. The epoxy that Chad is using, most epoxies you do need to use a mask, but this one is kid safe and food safe. So it's a different kind of epoxy. And I just, uh, Chad just told me that and I wanted to stress that because we had discussed this in the beginning of the video. So I did not know that either. I'm learning tons today, but I'm totally impressed of the job he's done here. It looks like a brand new table and a, just a brand new slab of onyx. And even the imperfections that are in the onyx anyways, like that, that's a natural uh, vein. The one that's cracked just looks like a natural vein. So it's turned out quite lovely. Well, we get another 100 years out of this now. Yeah. Beautiful. Good boy, Chad. Okay, now he's using a little torch to get the little bubbles out because of course there's little bubbles in it. It looks amazing. Wow, this is pretty cool. This torch is pretty cool too. I'd like that little torch for my creme brulee. Yes. Where'd you get that, Chatty? I'm pretty sure one of the hasty markets. Hasty market. Wow. I have to go there. Yeah. This is perfect for in the kitchen. Is it a battery or? No, it's butane. Butane. Oh, got the foreman back. <laughs> okay, we're going to try to take the tape off here. It's been how many hours? Four? Uh, three and a bit. Three and a bit. Almost four. And see how the drip goes on the bevel edge. Let's paint it on. Okay, the table is not quite completed. It needs to be buffed out and all the rest of it, but... Overall, I think it turned out pretty good, but I'm going back home. So I just wanted to close this video with showing you that. And um, I think it was a success. So catch you on the rebound, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you back home in Toronto.